We hot. We the hottest in the game now. Take it sold out. Get them in the building. You don't want to miss this. We got more galactical stuff coming out this month. And healing classes. We about to get ready to bring Chief Shining Brave on. The 15th Elder Razael. Tone Ray, ladies. Tone Ray. Ladies, he's already taken. Get him in the building. You don't want to miss this one. We about to crack heads and twist caps. Get your questions ready. Get your questions ready. We warming up the stage. We about to get the brother on in just a second since we switched to uh Let's see. Boom, we got that. Hey, Robot. Robot, we're keeping it clean, YouTube, for all the people that's doing the checks. We appreciate y'all down at the, uh, at the YouTube Center for uh, looking out for us. And we hope that we educate y'all too, because y'all get a chance to watch it, uh, to check it. So that's that's good. We get to learn. We got Fortune 500 companies watching our tapes. The Hustlers Manual class, the Fortune 500 companies watching their joint, man, saying we got to take notes from Young Elder, man, so we can keep staying business. So we can keep, you know, consistency. Right? The Fortune... Bill Gates, all them cats, man. Be watching me, man. So we like this young cat. Get him in the building. You don't want to miss this one. We about to have Tone Ray on, ladies and gentlemen, the 15th elder. He's going to be talking about healing. Willing and dealing, baby. Man, Brock, this is Young Gil, your hood anchor, man. Broadcasting live from the belly of the beast. Let me get that chat pulled up. I'm about to get Tom Ray on, ladies. I'm about to get him on. We got 41 people in here. Everybody hit that like, hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell. We don't receive a notification from us every day. Come back and check with us. We're putting some out. Uh, pretty much every day for you. We non-stop action. We non-stop action for you, man. So pretty much we're gonna be keep we're gonna keep it clean, you two. We know the guidelines. We're gonna we ain't gonna we're just gonna give them, you know, we're gonna do what we can do. Peace. If you want the real deal, you gotta go over to the Patreon. The Patreon, I'm gonna crack it up over there. I just posted another uh, video where they uh, where we showing you know what's going on. So I want to get over there and get that Patreon lined up. You know what I'm saying? I'm about to get Tom Ray in, ladies, in just a minute. We warming up the stage. Like I said, we got them that forty five dollar book deal going on. Forty five dollar donation to the cash app of PayPal. And keep in mind, there's somebody out here trying to scam. They they got created a, a cash app and they put the young elders with an S on the end. That's not my cash app. My cash app say Quince Willie on here. The young elder, Quince Willie on here. So if you're trying to, uh, so they got that scamming and they're trying to, uh, you know, it's always some, usually some Africans. It's usually Africans, man. So Africans always be coming up with a hustle, bro. Yeah, they read the hustles, man. <laughs> they read the hustles, man, man. Hey, but you know, we got so many tapes coming out and extraterrestrial stuff. We're gonna that's that's gonna we're gonna go into that real heavy. We're gonna go into that real heavy, the extraterrestrial stuff, right? Cause that's what YouTube like. They they approve those tapes fast, so we're gonna start dropping some more of them joints. 
Well, Bob, if you're coming into the building, I'm gonna, I think uh, 15th, I'm gonna click on in just a second. Let me see if he's in here. He's about to click on in just a second. We're waiting on him. If you want to send your uh, donations to the 15th elder, we're going to be posting his cash out in the pending area. We want to show him some love if you like what he's the signs that he's about to drop tonight. This is about to be good. See, the thing is, I'm, the, uh, the reason why we're putting out these healing classes because we got to build a catalog on this because we got a fat neck catalog up. Hey, the Patreon is going to be in the links after the show. You just click on, click right on. It's all in the, it's in the, all the other videos. You just click on the descriptions and then click on the it's in the uh, descriptions. It's in the descriptions, and you gonna get your head cracked. If you go over to that Patreon, so you are gonna get your head cracked over there. It, it's so scary. It's scary over there at the Patreon. The truth, the real truth, is being unfolded over there. But the reason why we're putting these healing classes on. Because we got a whole bunch of barrage of other tapes. And we still got, we're going to finish up the tapes. Like the Native American tapes, last name, blood type. We got them coming. We got like three more tapes to do in the Zodiac sign tapes. On the uh, last two, uh, the two last two tapes on the Airbenders. So all those tapes are, here go 15 right here. So all those tapes are going to be put out, right? So we rolling them out back to back. But we're talking about healing this month because of uh, what we're talking about on the Patreon, right? We're talking about on the Patreon. It's, it's in connection with this, and it's how to kind of, like, defend yourself. But we only can say so much on YouTube without being – we got to follow lay rules since we got contracts with them. But we got the 15 on right now, and uh, like I said, we could go on get – Hey, Rob, 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 we can go and get cracking, man. You know what I'm saying? We get this joint. We got 57 people on. Let me share and let everybody know we're going. We we, we lit. We hot. <laughs> we we off up in the thing. We yeah. up in here. Yeah, we live. Yeah. Um, yeah, ahead, man. Uh, we, we, I, I missed the first little few seconds, man. What, oh, I'll just introduce and everything, letting them know, uh, you know, that you we're going to talk about the help and different methods <laughs> of healing. And, man, you said something all interesting right. yesterday that, that, that I still been thinking about all day. About but you said that the people in prison eat bad foods, but they still be in good shape and they live a long time. I was like, man, that make a lot of sense. <laughs> they exercise every damn day. There's some yeah. secrets to this that I you know, I, people are. If you if you're looking, you're gonna see the secrets revealed if you're paying attention more to, uh, you know, your circumstances and situation because people will tell you anything, mm -hmm. you know. And if you don't know how to discern the truth from, you know, a lie, and you, you you're going through your experimental phases and healing yourself and you still trying to learn yourself and stuff like that. You're mm -hmm. going to fall for some stuff that you, uh, you'll you find out at, in your 40s and 50s you should have never fell for. Mm -hmm. But that's a given. That comes with the learning curve. There's a lot of things that I think about, bro, that always causes me to challenge what the status quo might be. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that helps guide me internally. But Look at this, right? I was, I'm a, a advocate of uh, Dr. Jennifer Daniels and her methods mm -hmm. and message, and also a whole handful of other um, teachers and, and, and healers. I'm I myself, I'm not a doctor, and mm -hmm. I do not practice medicine, so I'm not going to tell people, "Hey, I know how to heal you." All I can do is make suggestions, and exactly. then you have to go do your own you know, research to educate yourself further. And I will give you something to think about before you go out there dealing with, you know, the, the, the industry, so to speak, we'll use that word. Cause I'm not trying to give my brother no strikes, yep. but uh, yep. the industry makes money. Money keeps it alive. Money keeps your state and your city and your town afloat. It is what affords you, all of your luxuries and stuff that you love, the things you wanted, and um, it comes at a cost. So the industry that, you know, makes us pay for it is an industry that thrives on the ignorance of the people. Mm -hmm. So if you learn how to heal yourself the way we knew back in the days, 
and I mean days like 1800s, 1700s, a couple of hundred years ago, 300, maybe 400 years ago. We knew what we was doing. We had our own gardens. Hold on, give me a second. Go ahead, go ahead. Okay, uh, yeah, we, so yo, we got a medical disclaimer, man. If you want real, uh, seek your, your physician if you got real medical questions. We just giving you our advice. Like I said, I'm glad my brother made that disclaimer. So, uh, right. you know how they do. So uh, go ahead, my bad. Right, thank you, brother. Um, so Dr. Jennifer Daniels, I'll drop her name because she is or, or was qualified a real MD and really did you know, practice in yeah, I just, the medical industry. So hey, I appreciate uh -huh. that fit. My bad for cutting in. I appreciate that uh, 50, that video you sent me. I posted oh, yeah. a clip. I posted a clip right before we came on of gentleman from Dr. Daniels, uh like a like a uh, short where it shows yeah. how he was losing the turpentine with the sugar. And people ask, that's why I'm glad I did that because people ask why is she using white sugar to put a to the turpentine. Bait. Okay, go ahead. Bait, uh, you gotta go you gotta bait the parasites. The parasites like sugar, don't they? Exactly. You gotta bait the candida. You gotta bait, you know, because the sugar is gonna go in and it's gonna bait them. They're gonna come eat the sugar and it's gonna be poison. See, you gotta bait them. They ain't just they intelligent. Mm -hmm. Now you're talking about a life form that lives within you and off of you that does not want to leave you because it's alive in you. As soon as it leaves your body, it's gonna die. You see, if it doesn't die inside you and then come on out, parasites are one of the main problems with us. Bacteria, candida produces the extra mucus in the system. So, yeah, you know, parasites, get rid of them. Turpentine and um, a, a practice with the proper amounts. You need to know exactly how many, you know, drops of it to put on your sugar before you take a scoop of it and it will i feel like this from my perspective it resets the body's system gives it a fighting chance mm -hmm. to rejuvenate itself mm -hmm. because we're so backed up and blocked that most of us don't have three mile, three bowel movements a day if you don't have three bowel moves, movements a day something's going on mm -hmm. you got to ask yourself why ain't i pooping Go to the bathroom and poop. Drink more water. Drink more distilled water when you're trying to clean your system out. Try to drink water that's, you know, already you filtered properly. I like Fiji water. That's my favorite. But when I'm exercising and trying to lose weight and stuff, I go for distilled water and I'll drink a vegan raw meal supplement. Not, not it's, well, it's a supplement. It's a shake. So it's a, one of them nutrients, a dense shakes with enzymes in it, probiotics and everything that my gut need. And I'll fast and do my cardio because I know cardio is the best way to get the temperature of the body raised to a certain degrees. And then it'll cook whatever's in me out through raising the alkalinity levels, through raising the body's heat, the temperature. You see, so... Um, you know, to get back to on the point of, of uh, our big sister and all the other uh, grand masters out here, healers, uh, that's been doing this for 30 years, plus 40, some 50. They know what they're talking about, mm -hmm. but they also got to make a little change, too. <laughs> so you can't, you know, what I mean, even a person that's a healer, it, you know, they'll heal you, but they, you know. Some of them going to take their time. And then you got some healers that don't play no games. Mm -hmm. They'll heal you right away. You see? So you got to just, you know, take the good with the or positive with the negatives when you're dealing with the, the healing yourself and detoxing yourself. I always recommend detoxing first. You know, start with a detox before you take any type of turpentine. At least that's what I heard her recommend, you know. Try to clean out your uh, gut enough to where mm -hmm. you can have three mm -hmm. bowel movements a day before you take it. Because if you don't, you'll take this turpentine and, man, you'll be sitting on the, on the toilet in the bathroom for about an hour and a half, two hours, just feeling like it's coming. <laughs> hey, somebody, somebody said, hey, somebody said, no, nah, brother, hey, we ain't telling you to drink. Turpentine, oh, uh, brother, Lord, oh, oh, he released the comment. Okay, all right. 
We tell him, hey, we just we just posted the clip of Dr. Dan Dr. Jennifer Daniels yeah. telling you how not to do it. Not the paint thinner, bro. Pure gum spirits. Not yeah, the paint cool thinner. Gum spirits. Look, what I got on the screen gum right spirits. Here. What I got it's, for, the... it's edible, you know? Go ahead. Yeah. I'm sorry, brother. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, right. No, you're telling them right. You're telling them right. 15. Like we got a picture of it on the screen in the Dr. Jennifer Daniels. Uh this is not the damn paint thinner. Th oh. So I, I guess he he must come in later some. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He he'll understand. I mean, if you start searching the internet for clues on uh turban time and the health benefits, he's going to run into a lot of testimonies where a lot of people talk about the benefits. And if you make it a regular practice of yourself to um pay attention to your body's bowel movements. You know, get you some cardio and maybe a little anaerobic exercise in every day. Or every other day make it light if you have to mm -hmm. start out small because you need to sweat sweating is going to help you stay purified your body and the energy levels of the body will stay purified right. so you know her method and dr sebi's method are kind of the same they're using different things though dr sebi would clean out the cells and i call it the long method the easy not the easy. It's, it's complicated, but it's long because it takes a lot of discipline. A lot of discipline. And it's healthier because it's not a real quick fix. It's a life change. So, you know, his methods are great for discipline and for, you know, permanent healing. Her methods let you know what is and how many different things you can try as well as the turpentine. She don't just deal with turpentine. I mean, I was just listening to her today talk about, uh, you know, somebody mentioned that they had herpes to her and asked her whether, you know, turpentine could get rid of it and eradicate it out of the nervous system. And she let him know what I've been telling people for years. I've been letting people know, like, if y'all, excuse me, if you, if you, when you were a child, had the chicken pox. They gave you herpes. If you had the chicken pox, it's in your system. It's not going anywhere. It would just lie dormant or benign in the body. And it won't affect you, but it's there. And that's most people in, <laughs> in America, let alone the, the, the planet that, that live in cities and stuff giving out vaccines and things, you know. So most of us have it. And most of us got to learn to deal with it. So this brother was bold enough to tell her and ask a question. And uh, it, this was like two years ago, this uh, segment I'm li I listened to, so it's old. But she did say, um, I think the brother's name was started with a W. I'm not going to let y'all know. Y'all got to go watch her channel. Y'all do, y'all just run across the, the whole story. She'll tell you. We're gonna post it in the link. So yeah, it's on a video called Good News mm -hmm. that she got. Jennifer Daniels uh YouTube site and look up the video Good News. I think it was like two years ago. So this this brother's on there. I don't know if he's a brother or not, but he's he's coming straight out saying it. And she lets him know a method that's very unusual to me. I've never heard of because I was always told to stay away from pork. Mm -hmm. but she said some gar garlic sea salt some like I think rosemary or something like that to add into it it might not have been rosemary but it was some type of herb to add into it other than the garlic and the sea salt and uh, like boil the pig ears boil them till they get soft yeah and she said to eat as many as you can stuff like that to prevent outbreaks if you have herpes you see what I'm saying? Like met, unusual methods, but she has knowledge of all these different methods because she's used them to help people with their conditions realistically. Mm -hmm. So she knows exactly what she's talking about from practicing and watching, just like Sabi used to practice and watch. watch. Mm -hmm. He didn't mm -hmm. just, uh, you know, but it, it's if he wasn't a biochemical engineer himself, he wouldn't have known exactly what medicines dig deep into the cells. Mm -hmm. Or what herbs dig deep into the cells, not medicines, herbs. And he kept reminding us, especially us religious folk, you know, our <laughs> herbs are for the healing of the nations. And if you trust the industry to heal you, 
well, then you thought a little sideways on that, one, <laughs> you know, because according to her and her, when she did practice, she had let you know what's really killing people. Drugs. Drugs of all kinds. I'm saying street drugs, 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 period. Drugs. And cats just don't understand that. They don't understand. They don't get it. You got to be able to grow you some herbs or know the herbs of the land. You got to know how to process these herbs. And you won't have to worry about healing. Now, some of us, we straddle the line. We, we teeter-totter. We like to blow up and wait. And then we like to lose it all. You still putting your body under stress regardless. Your body's still going to age. You're not going to stay young forever. But there's methods to help. To help you keep a vibrant, you know, attitude, vibrant energy, keep you on the move. And there's plenty of things. So tonight, you know, we're definitely going to go through the light, certain light methods of healing that they have. Um, the aromatherapy, you know, light and gas. Aromatherapy is gas methods. And what types of gas heal what or help what? Because they might not heal you, but they might help stabilize or make you comfortable when you're uncomfortable in a situation or feeling sick. And you got to know these things because a lot of times aromatherapy is used in oils to keep people from throwing up. Aromas mm -hmm. control that nausea effect. Mm -hmm. See, so aroma, and then there's light therapy, then there's sound therapy, and then there's um, crystals, Crystals is more of a placebo effect uh, from my perspective. I like the crystals. They do have a certain vibe to them because they're minerals of the earth, mm -hmm. you know, precious stones. So we like jewelry. Jewelry makes us feel good anyway. When we wear, wear gold, we start feeling better. When you become more magnetic, you do feel better. You feel more charged wearing gold feel calmer wearing silver everybody is learning that everybody been learning that since back in the days you know that's why i say i'm not an expert on this but i definitely have learned from so many scholars and so many different healers that my perspective is broad mm -hmm. so hey uh, you, you, i just heard you say something about gold while you on that gold uh what's your top your take on monotonic gold as far as far as the aspect of health and generating the, the natural electricity for the brain and whatever perspective you got on the monotonic yeah. gold. Yeah, monotonic gold helps balance the brain, you know, and the, and the nervous system helps focus. Um, it's great to take when you're doing projects and stuff too, and uh, to stay alert and to uh, be disciplined when you're working on your projects in order to finish them and complete them. Monotonic gold is great for that. It's great for focus. And a little bit of energy as well. It's not going to give you the type of energy caffeine like it, but it does give you a type of energy that comes with the alertness. And um, if you don't take, you know, don't, don't anything taken in too much or too many doses can harm you. Everybody should know that. Everybody knows that. And any children listening, they should, they should know. Anything you do too much of can harm you, mm -hmm. you know, including exercise. If you going too hard in the paint, you're going to hurt yourself. Injury takes place. Extremities are always going to induce injury in whatever situation, extremes. So try to keep it somewhere balanced when you're dealing with, you know, your human body, especially your brain. Um, my time ago, I would, I haven't like a, I haven't taken it in about probably 10 months. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But when I was taking it, I took it for probably about a year straight and it was every other day throughout mm -hmm. my weeks you know mm -hmm. what i'm saying i didn't take it every day but every other day and you got to know your body uh when it depends on your dosage and especially like i said in the last class your blood type okay um but the amount of time ago is definitely good for memory you um remembering things not just stuff that happened in the past, but stuff that you set down for yourself to do. If you got a schedule and you're taking modern time of gold, it will help you with your memory. 
as well. You know, that's what I know about that. You know, it's, it's also an atomic particle. At the end of the day, that's really how it's getting inside your uh, system and into the brain. It goes into the brain because it's gold. And the, and the brain in itself naturally produces gold. If most of y'all don't know that. It produces silver, gold, I think uh, other types of uh, valuable minerals, silver, gold, maybe platinum, <laughs> but it's in your brain. And it needs those metals to conduct electricity in the brain. So that's why it helps us with focus. It helps, I guess, balance out the conductivity of both sides of the brain and both hemispheres. Is that a good response for you? Oh, yeah, brother? yeah, that's fire. That's fire. Hey, that's that you gave you took you gave a total synopsis of it. Uh now uh okay, you you had you sent me a link uh to the, the Cleveland Help Clinic about light healing. Let me get that pulled up real quick. Yeah, chromotherapy. Yeah. I said, man, that's interesting because uh I said that we all light and that we got light codes and what when we become ill, it's just our light mm -hmm. code is being is is ain't getting the it's it's like we the sun, man, it's like hard to explain, but it's like we we all being projected here by the sun. And really, mm -hmm. it's no, it's really no such thing as sickness, really. It's just all it's all mind to me. It's all mm -hmm. like like the way it's set up with the photon built. It's all mm -hmm. light frequencies, light codes. And all you got to do is know how to adjust those, readjust those light codes back to its mm -hmm. original form and the sickness will go away. You know what I'm saying? Right. And mm -hmm. how you adjust those light codes is degrees, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. temperature, temperature control right. of the body. Mm -hmm. It's a reason why they call cold sick or sickness. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. And when you get a fever, they tell you, you don't feed a fever. But it just make the person throw up because if the food got toxins in it, the body going to reject it while it's trying to heat up to a certain degree to purify the body or get the body stabilized again. So heat deals with healing. You know, the heat and pad, mm -hmm. when your back hurting, when your neck hurting, and that's a light force within itself. Mm -hmm. Heat. One of the healing lights, especially for certain skin uh, ailments like eczema and things, is blue light, blue LED light. Mm -hmm. That's what chromotherapy would tell you, too. They, get, they tell you, they give you a list of different colors of lights and different colors in the spectrum that go with different organs and all of that, man. And the skin is the largest organism on the body, on the body. It houses all the other organs, but it's a living organ itself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So your skin needs help and health as well. Now, I'm going to ask a question that I already know the answer to, but I want to see if you've heard of this and everybody else have heard of this. Go ahead, go ahead, and go you don't necessarily have to answer it. They can answer it in the chat if you want. Go ahead, go ahead. But how many of y'all know what the fastest healing part of the body is? The fastest healing part of the body? Oh, man, that's a good question. When you uh -huh. find out, you're going to be like, oh, yeah, because it ain't, you know, it's easy, but it's complicated if nobody's ever talked about it with you. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to think, man. Hey, that's a good one, man. I can guess a lot of shit, but uh, hey, I, I don't know, man. That's a good one. Hey, what y'all got in the cup? Hey, let me see what they say. The skin. Somebody, somebody, the skin. somebody said the skin. Okay, yeah. okay. Well, you know, that's not too far from where I'm going with this, but yeah, that's that would fall into this category, of course. The mouth. The mouth. Yeah. Somebody said the mouth, they were 100% correct. Okay. The mouth. The, crab the mouth. Okay. The mouth. All right. But you got so, on it. Go in on it. Oh, yeah. I'm about to go in on it. What's because up? the mouth, just like in any other kingdom or animal kingdom, the, uh, there's um, enough proteins in the saliva to speed up healing. And, and you know, enzymes in the saliva. It speeds up healing, which is why when you're a child, you naturally put a wound in your mouth. See, the mouth has healing power. If your uh, woman has a scar and she puts her saliva on that scar, it helps start the coagulation and it helps start the healing. 
It's antibacterial fluid that your body produces from the mouth. The body's a full, complete system that knows how to heal itself. And it's mm -hmm. constantly healing itself throughout the entire day through breathing. So you breathe in your nose and out your mouth, which means there's a constant system flushing gases out in that manner. And then you got your drinking your distilled waters and different waters to flush out and clean and rejuvenate the blood too. You hear too many people talking about they don't drink no water. Now those people right there, I'd be like, man, you are a toxic avenger. You, 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 any day you're going to bubble up, you know, your skin going to start bubbling up and everything because it's trying to, toxins have to come out and the body is constantly trying to get that stuff out. Anything that we got to live with for the rest of our terminal existence in these bodies is simply because somebody put that stuff in us or it came along with the DNA that we have. And there's ways to contain that stuff and maintain that stuff to keep it from harming you, and having outbreaks and things, because there's some things that some people just can't get rid of with just regular exercise and herbs. But they can make sure that they never see it again, if you get my drift that it never bothers them again. It will appear as though you don't have it anymore. You can do that. Live out the best quality of life you can live. But you dead sure got to know how to get through the blood with liquids. And there's also uh, oils and things on the outside of the body for the aromatherapy. Just think if you were attacking the body or, or, or ailments of the body in all those ways, you got your blue light on, you're drinking your distilled water. You didn't have your vital greens for the day, right? You didn't eat your fruit. You got your exercise in. You didn't done your chanting, your humming, so you can heal with your voice through sound. The sound is a healing method. Or you went somewhere and took a sound bath. You know, a sound bath is where you lay in the middle of the room, the center of the room, and then you let the sounds of real like say for instance like the the, the bowls with the the that to make the the woo, woo noise right they do that and then they also hit drums you can do drums and it's, it's different types of sound therapy yeah they yeah realign the body's oh, frequency you know they realign the body's frequency they balance the body's frequency out you get up feeling like you went into a deep meditation because like young elder was saying all healing really takes place in the brain and then trickles itself down throughout the rest of the body because the brain has to tell the body really what to do. Without enough electricity being produced in the brain, it's going to be hard for you to find out or how to or, you know, know uh, what's wrong with the body and then learn how to send signals to that area of the body to contain the problem so you can deal with it. But sound healing is, is effective. It's very therapeutic. Um, tuning forks is another one. There's grandmasters that use in this, these methods that people can seek out. They use hot stones and stuff. Massage therapy is another one because massage therapy is when a person is really balancing your energy out with their energy and they have to put their hands on you. And then if they're on the back where the spinal cord is, they have to hit all of the nerves on the back. Therefore, they can unclot, you know, things that are backed up in the body from pressure and rubbing from heat. Because as you rub, friction is produced and therefore your heat. And therefore, like I said, heat purifies. It's one of the most consistent methods of healing that I've noticed since I've been looking at healing. Heat, 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 heat. <laughs> Every time you're dealing with something, right. you're cooking on the on the um on the uh, stove. Uh, my mom, you know, she learned. She taught me how to make a hot toddy. They say is like a shot of vodka or some warm vodka or liquor and and some other stuff and some honey and lemon or whatever. And the person with a sore throat, a drink that that's an alcoholic. They got their message too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it's that heat that you need, but you need just the right amount of heat when you're trying to get rid of something. And a lot of times your body just goes into heat mode because you ain't got the real energy 
to exercise. You're so feverish, right? You just want to pass out and fall out. And that is when the air is taken over. Because you can't do nothing but breathe then. If somebody put a cold rag on your head to try to calm the fever down before your, you know, your brain start overheat. But the brain is like a, 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 a thing that can send that charge into the rest of the body. Therefore, you will. Your head will be super hot. Rag will be steaming. Because you're rejuvenating, you're resetting. It's not bad. The fever is not bad. When we start going, if oh, my baby got a fever of 125, and you know, I'm gonna rush him to the hospital. And you gotta know the methods to breaking the fever mm-hmm. and to calming it down. That's all. You know, real parents, real parents or experienced parents know. And you usually get your experience to your first child. The first child you're gonna make all your mistakes on. So you got to learn to apologize to your first child when they get older. <laughs> I'm sorry, baby. I just didn't know certain things. They Because if you don't, buddy, they'll make you pay for it later. Got to let them know. I'm sorry. Uh, you had a snotty nose so long. I'm sorry. Uh, you know, I didn't tell you about STDs. Uh, I'm sorry. I didn't talk about this with you, that with you. You're still learning. You're still growing up. With your second child, you got pretty much most of it memorized and you're going with the flow and reflexology sets in for you, you know, to keep their bowels empty. So you give them laxatives every week to clean them out, especially when they eat trash. So you got to keep the gut clean. You got to keep your, um, your whole endocrine system or endocrine system clean. You got to keep your nervous system functioning right by drinking enough water to keep enough electricity production in the brain, because the brain sits in a whole vat of water inside the skull. So if the water in your brain is dirty, then your blood is dirty too, then it's hard for you to think to uh, think through foggy fluid in the, in the inside the skull, that is. So you definitely have to have a replenished amount of brain fluid or liquid the organ sits inside and it and that liquid is what keeps the electricity going. That's why your blood is flowing throughout your body and that's why you got veins and the, and the nervous system. So keeping those things clean is where you start at and it's a plethora of herbs out here. And like we talked about in the last segment, last class, that the internet is here, use it. Get on the internet. It's just what you ask the internet. See, it becomes like money at that point because money, they say, you know, it's it's not the root of all evil. It's whoever is using the money and what they want to do with it that causes harm. Same thing with this. How are you going to use the information that you get with the herbs? How are you going to do it? You got to go research and find out how you can grow your own in your house. Really cancel out the middleman later on down the line. Most everything that you come across as far as diseases or you know discomfort can be straightened out, can be cured, regulated, balanced, cared for, and the point to where it won't bother you. Because these bodies, until you are born again, which is my, you know, I don't know if it's me, just me, but I have to say it's my perspective. That, you know, people are, when they pass, they stay in a dream state for a short while and then they're born again through another woman. Now, that's my theory. So until then, your body, whatever, if you from the 80s or somebody from the 70s, from the 60s and 50s and on back, your body's outdated. Okay, so there's some things that you're going to have to go through. Everybody's old body got to be changed out, which is why you got to pass. And it's why, you know, we get better bodies through a better mixing of a chemical, biochemical mixing, understanding the blood types and understanding the DNA and making sure you got the right mate that you mix with. Not just mixing because you're lusting because they look good. And it's vice hey, versa, male you, or female. Mm-hmm. My bad. Wait, why you on that? Because uh, I have we got a lot of questions on that on the blood type. And the lady was going in saying that her her, her husband was a 
A plus and she was an old positive and they had kids just fine. So what's your like what's the cause what like I gave my perspective on it, but you probably got more than I got on it. What's your perspective on like the blood types and I know old pot old negative, I'm old negative, we could get blood to everybody. So what's the, the difference in your perspective on that? Well, you know, um inside your blood, your blood type, it depends on the antigens or bacteria that have attached itself to your blood down through mixing in the DNA. So there is no other blood type uh, technically other than O, positive and negative. All the other blood types have a mix of animal type DNA, the RH factor, the rhesus monkey DNA, rhesus, rhesus, I mean. So you're dealing with the RH. And that, I mean, you know, it's not nothing bad about it. Like I said, it's our body types have to be refined. So over the years, we biochemically are mixing to try to find out how to get rid of certain defects. We're trying to refine ourselves. This is an intelligence. This is a, a galactic intelligence at work here that most people to try to understand on an individual level would just confuse themselves and be scratching their head like the Reese's monkey. But the DNA, that's what it is. A, bacteria. B, bacteria. A, B, bacteria. It's positive and negative because you got your positive and negative like we deal in, positive and negative everything. Mm -hmm. How is it charged? So these things only affect you by not knowing how to deal with the blood type. So if you have a certain blood type and you find that, hey, I got A negative. Okay, we'll find out. Well, A negative should be eaten. Find out how much That's exercise right. A negative should be getting. You see, find out how much exercise A negative gets. Same thing with the B, same thing with A positive, same thing with AB negative and positive, same mm -hmm. thing. I think All the B, blood types. Uh -huh. you no, know, the tigers got blood. Uh, the most of the carnivores got B blood type. They can eat. They meat eaters. Most of the B type. On based on the research that I came up with, like a tiger, mm -hmm. uh, lions. They all got like B blood type. Mm -hmm. And if you got a B blood type, then a person can't tell you you shouldn't be eating meat. See because you got that animal in your DNA in your background. It's attached to itself. It's an antigen, anti-gene. See what I'm saying? Things we've been living with for so long that most people just don't understand. You're going to have to live with it. I know people. some people be like, oh, man, I, don't, I want to magically change mine to O negative because it's special. Man, get out of here. Don't live in a fairy tale. It's all right to have the blood you got. Otherwise, you wouldn't have a body. So it's just fine. Yeah, people saying, man, I got monkey DNA, man. He said I got monkey blood. <clears throat> I'm saying there's the monkey DNA in that blood type. Yes. Reese's monkey DNA in that blood type. That's and fact. some of us, we got it from mixing with Caucasians. And we got okay. it from the same man. The and we got it from mixing. Yeah, this this what I'm saying is, is we live in different environments. We have to mix. We mix with different beings in different environments to collect intelligence. Y'all got to understand DNA is intelligence. You see, it's working on a project within you. Unbeknownst to you, it's working on something. Before you came about, DNA was working on something. See? So we just got to learn that, hey, hey, I, if I got A negative, A, B negative, whatever my blood type may be at the moment, or for my, you know, and this body type is what I'm trying to say when I say at the moment, because like I tell y'all, ain't no such thing as time, and the only time is now, and life is just a whole daggone moment. Okay? So don't worry about the blood type as if you're contaminated, and, and you know, if you're thinking of any... Uh, fanatical theories about you not going someplace because you got a certain type of blood type. That's all you. I wouldn't worry about it. I would just study my blood type. That's the correct thing to do. When you find out what your blood type is, you study that joint like your life depends on it because it does. <laughs> yes, fact.
You see what I'm saying? Why would you be studying anything else other than your blood first? Light, air, sound, blood. <laughs> Light, <laughs> air, blood. God dang it, that's solid liquid gas. And then you go on into your skin and stuff and then you learn your the sound instruments from the, the tuning forks and stuff that affects your blood. All vibration will penetrate down into your core from the outside of the skin vibration that's why it's best for you to do your humming your chant and you know what black people used to do the whole time we worked on the plantations was humming we was humming back in the church back in the days grandma used to do nothing but humming that's healing through sound all day did y'all know that and once again I... beginning with the mouth that's what all that mm -hmm. That's grandma, right? Big mama. She would hum and cook. And at the same time she's cooking, she's got aromatherapy and the herbs, the greens, the mixed greens. She got mustard greens, kale greens, she got all tons of greens in there. Then she, you know, turnip greens. And then the next thing you know, she can put some, some hot peppers, red pit chili peppers I'm in there for spice, them. for the blood. Yeah. But they used to know. Cayenne pepper and peppers used to help purify our blood. Cinnamon helps purify the blood. Spices help purify the blood. So you're going to have to heat up the blood with something hot. A herb that can get that heat in there is pepper, cayenne pepper, not black pepper. And then there's, there's, there's you know, there's other different peppers that serve a herbal purpose and intention. And you'll be able to take those herbs. If you think certain peppers are too hot and you need one milder, there's research on that. There's research on that. You just look into it. But if you humming, that sound, you're balancing out your frequency, you're keeping yourself in a good mood too. Because if you're not vibrating right, you're not going to be in a good mood. So hum, hum. That's meditation for us. We used to meditate walking around. Any black person or elderly person you see doing that, don't stop them. Don't be like, what's wrong with you? I hear you over here buzzing. You all right? They humming because they're healing. Hey. They listen to the music. They like to the, go ahead, big bro. I'm sorry. No, 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 no. I, you could you say something about Kion. And I, I was going to get your take because I got a several different herbs and people ask the questions or we took questions when they would say, oh, man, I can't wait till 15, come back on so we can ask some this or that. And you just said something about the herbs and spices uh, for cleaning the blood. Now, what? so uh, what, what number one herb, uh, I, I want to get your take on a, this number. It's like you, if, if you don't know about this, if you're in the conscious community or you're in the healing community, uh, you just in our community. If you don't know nothing about sea moss, I mean, uh, come on now. Somebody just slap your back in your head. Mm -hmm. So what's your uh what's your what, what do you know about sea moss? Give us your all your perspectives and how to how you use it or how you know know it to be used or whatever on sea moss. There's um there's two different types. Um uh, there's a bush and then there's a leaf. And uh the bush itself can expand and grow on top of the water, you know. But I'm sure it starts out on the floor bed of the ocean and then pops off and grows at the, you know, at the top. It's getting eaten mm -hmm. by a lot of seagulls and other things. But it's very mineral uh, and uh, nutrient dense. Uh, I think it has like 102 minerals. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, some, some. You could not read a bed. You could not. About now, okay. is it coming back? Yeah, it's right. Okay, you clear now. All right. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Go. Okay. So, so I back over from like thirty seconds. All right. Let's see if I can do that. Um. Okay. There's two types: the bush and the leaf. One called like glassolarius. I think it's the word glassolarius mm -hmm. of uh the bush, and the bush is like a almost a clear type of bush. And what it does is it retains water content in itself. 
So this one, when you take this and it, and it gives you, you know, the, the 100 plus minerals that it's supposed to give you, your body's supposed to maintain, I think, about 108, somewhere around there, or 107. It's somewhere around there, bro. Don't don't quote me on that. That's I a, like that a, yeah, I think you're right. I think it's like 102. Is it between 97 yeah. and 102, but for sure. Somebody drop okay. it in the chat. I think it's 102. But uh, yeah, I think Dr. I don't know. I remember Dr. Savvy saying something like a higher number, but it's all good. It's, it's supposed to be maintain your body's pH level, the potential hydrogen. So you can stay hydrated. The body that stays hydrated, um, you know, uh, it's going to be producing a lot of alkalinity output because of the body holding a clean amount of water and, and re retaining that water. You see what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. your immune system would be allowed to get a boost from these minerals and your body retaining water as well. You're going to heal faster too. So that glacillarious plant, uh, they use it also good for like fillers and, you know, pies and, and other things that they eat that they want to make cold, uh, like a gelatin. It's also used like a filler and a gelatin and a lot of bakes, um, bakeries. Mm -hmm. Most people don't know that it's, um, that's a word that starts with the letter C that it has a lot in it that helps people. Um, I can't think of it off the top right now. You could look it up if you want. But there's there's the uh, uh, the bush that I've had. I've ordered it, ordered a bag. I'm still talking about the bush. I'm getting on the leaf in a minute, the conjure uh, crispus. We'll get on that in a second. But the bush has its benefits as well in helping clean the body out and helping the body maintain um, hydration and a high alkalinity level because of the hydration, okay? Mm -hmm. And uh, I used to order mine raw, the bush, it'd be dried out. I would soak it for about a minimal of four and a half hours. But I used to soak mine uh, for four hours and pull it, rinse it, change the water, and soak it again for another four. Mm -hmm. And then I would put it in a blender, you got to have a real good blender um, with at least about, I don't know, and uh, I think 90 watt, nine, I don't know, 100 watts, 150 watts or something like that. Yeah, that it's got to be a plant. high power. Yeah, because if you don't, the plant itself will start getting tied up in the, you know, in the in the drill. And But, you know, that's neither here nor there. Just make sure you got a quality blender. Don't be putting it in your small cup bullets and stuff. You have to use a big <laughs> blender, you know, and uh, do do half and half. I used to get uh, the plant, process it through soaking it, cleaning it, get all the salt, um, sand and stuff off of it. And then um, I would make some uh, bladder rack. I had a, a little uh, supplement of bladder rack came in a powder form. I used to get that sometimes from Dr. Sebi and sometimes I get it from other websites, but the bladder rack I would mix a tablespoon, it all depends on how much I got in there. Now, if the, if the plant, once I uh, blend it with about half a half of water, and uh, I made sure the water came above the bush that I stuffed down in the blender at least halfway up, not all the way full if I didn't have a lot of the plant in there. So I'm just letting everybody know off of measurements. I can't remember exactly what the measurements were, but I know what it looked like before I started <laughs> And I wanted it to be thicker. I would take a little bit more water out. Okay. Now I would do this and then I would uh, get my bladder rack, put that in a little bit of water, uh, put it on like a simmer on the stove, not cooking it, not boiling it, but heating up the water enough. Like warm water would help the bladder rack dissolve a lot and mash it up with like a, a spoon or one of those uh, you know, uh, things they use to pulverize capsules and things in a bowl. You can use one of those too. But you, you pulverize the bladder rack inside this little bit of water. And then you add that into your uh, mix after you have blended in, liquefied it, and then blend it again. And to turn it green. Okay. After you turn it green, you're making the jello, the, the, the bladder rack sea moss gelatin. You can store it in your fridge. Uh, for a day or overnight and then the next day i started taking it now this is just the bush okay i would do the same 
with, with, with the leaf, but I've never ordered the leaf and processed the leaf myself. I've always bought the conscious crispus from a herbalist. I've never processed that at home. So I just gave y'all what my recipe was for the uh, Seamark bladder rack with the glassolarius and the bladder rack combined. And I also was handing these out to people as a dietary supplement for people to know that Seamark suppresses the appetite. So you're not going to be hungry when your body is hydrated. You know, it suppresses that. If you're eating on Seamark a lot, then you're just right. a greedy person with a large appetite and you've got to control that. You know, it's a, it's a huge dietary supplement. If you're exercising and working out on sea moss, you're going to feel great. You know, uh, you'll have the strength and, and energy to do the conditioning. You won't have to worry about so much fatigue and so much uh, long time in between recovery. Sea moss will help with all of that because of the mineral mineral reproduction output. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's a re, it's a re, it's a Dr. Savy referred to it as aphrodisiac. Uh, yeah, aphrodisiac, and he said that it was part of the re the rebuilding stage. Like, say, if you want you fast for like say seven days or something, and then you want to re uh, replenish uh, your cells, you take the sea moss because it got all the minerals in it, and it builds back up all the minerals levels in your body to get you back uh, all your vitals and everything back to a normal level. Right. Yeah. Yeah, that's fire. Yeah. Hey, so. Oh, wait, 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 wait. You got some more on, uh, uh, on CMOS? Nah, nah, nah. I'm going to stop right there. There's more on it that I could talk on, okay. but I'd rather keep it moving. Uh, next thing, CMOS man. CMOS is uh, it's, something it's everybody big... knows about. I'm sorry. Go ahead. My bad. Yeah, but like, you, it, uh, I, I learned about this from you, uh, the Colonial Silver. I ordered some and started giving the kids some. My wife, she uh, know a little bit about hers, but she was, that was her first time hearing about it. The colonial silver, man. Could you go in on that and uh, what it's used for, and um, how it's one of the high power, underlooked, and underrated things that's on the market? Well, so I mean, this is what I like to say about it to give people a uh, a yes, perspective. Can you hear me? Yeah, go ahead. Here, okay. Hey, I want to give people a, a easy perspective, uh, easy conceptualized perspective that you can teach to anybody about the silver. We know silver kills vampires. Mm -hmm. What is a vampire? In essence, what is it? It's a bacteria. It's a parasite. Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a, you know, it's a parasite. Mm -hmm. It needs the blood of another thing to live. It's a carnivore parasite. So anything that needs to drink your blood to sustain its life is a vampire to me. Now, the colloidal silver also is antiviral and will help the body get rid of anything that's attacking it on a viral level. Mm -hmm. And it's good to get into knowing how much to take for yourself, depending on how large you are of a person or small. It always depends on that. So colloidal silver is something that you can take um, when you got, it's different ways to take it to. I remember me and Elder Jamil used to talk about uh, the colloidal silver a lot, a nano mm -hmm. silver, mm -hmm. I think is what, mm -hmm. what he refers yeah. to it as. Mm -hmm. a nano silver, now, you know, it's like silver particles, but see the silver, uh, the best type to have is plant-based and it's the type that comes from the process of ionthrophorosis that the plants, where the plants will take the hard earthly minerals within the soil and make them edible through food. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So you got to also be able to find out what plants they're extracting the colloidal or nano silver from, because if they're just getting it and taking the hard silver and processing it as a liquid for you, well, uh, 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 there could be some complications later on in your life if you're overdoing it. Yeah, like so this dude right here that turned that turn blue. <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. Yeah. Too much right. He's turned blue because he's actually taking silver. Not the food. It's like it's edible either way it goes because it's been processed by alchemists. Okay. An alchemist can make nano silver. And, you know, I don't know how long it will take him. Just the same way monatomic gold takes probably about a 90 day period of time. It's a process. 
you know, the liquid method, they got a fire method, and then they have a, a, a drying method or earthly mm-hmm. uh-huh. drying method. There's different methods to making the, the amount of time of gold, just like it's different methods to making this silver here. But you got to know how to extract what you would call the atomic or the nanoparticles of what it is. And most of the stuff looks like dust anyway. And, you've, and you, you, a lot of times you get small amounts of it when you're trying to produce it at home. And whatever batches you got to make, you'll get small amounts because you got to scrape it off of a jar and, you know, capsulize and put it, you know what I mean? It's a process, bro. I mean, the same process that you study or that I was studying about the planet, when you start studying these other things, man, like like the chemistry and the alchemy and stuff, you start figuring this stuff out. The same system applies. You can reverse the system in alchemy but you're doing it on a small level just so you can produce some nano silver. Most people that do it with the um, actual silver, they have to dissolve the silver. They have to make it a particle. They have to break it down and then make it ingestible for you with distilled water so that it can get into the bloodstream and then be carried throughout the body through the bloodstream, killing and eradicating vampires that I like to call you know, parasites. So, colloidal silver, yeah, vampire killer. Get you some, read the directions on it, and learn how to, you know, follow the directions to to the tippy top, to the T. (laughs) Dot your I's and cross your T's. Hey, Probably a lot of other benefits on it. If you wanted to just look up the benefits on it, um, yeah, 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 my, I got my you. Bad, yeah. My bad. Go ahead. No, no, no. I got you. I got you. I can do that right now. Hey, so, uh, yeah, people was asking where to get this. Uh, I ordered it right off of Amazon. That same bottle that I had on the screen. That's the bottle that I found. Uh, and the turpentine too. I got it off of Amazon. It's pure gum spirits. Uh, the right. Bottle. Yeah. Uh, hold on. Let me pull up uh the benefits of coronial silver. Hey, y'all don't. People don't understand the um uh, how important it is what dr jennifer daniels has brought back to the forefront of our healing intelligence with the turpentine pure gum spirits y'all a lot of people don't know understand how far back that goes man when you you dealing with a pine tree processing and distilling pine tree sap you see and what do we say about the pine tree evergreen exactly it's for evergreen (laughs) <laughs> and when you look at it it's a symbol of eternal or everlasting life through whatever weather conditions that there are on the planet the pine tree can stand but it has to be in soil that you know it gets nutrients from otherwise the soil can kill it if the soil's dying it'll die but i go all the way back to the sumerian culture or studies where you've seen them holding the pine cone and what taking turpentine will do for your pineal or, or the gland called the pineal or the hypothalamus area of the head and the ball, uh, I'm sorry, the, the top of the um, uh, spinal cord, bottom of the, the skull. So in that area there, you want to increase awareness and raise your vibration, clean yourself out, start over, you know, that turpentine to get on a nice practice of taking that will help keep you healthy. It's such an explosion with this thing. Mm -hmm. I mean, literally, it's like she cracked the code on keeping the body pure. And it's almost like the Sumerians had to know it. Yeah, they do it. Hey, the Anarchies had it in that bucket. I can show you the bucket that they was was using the turpentine. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, they knew how to use every part of the tree. Because mm-hmm. the tree in itself is not just turpentine that you do to heal yourself. That tree, man, even the pine pollen, pine pollen in a certain season that falls off of the pine cones, mm-hmm. that is got 10 times more vitamin C than an orange mm-hmm. or a lemon. So you can get pine co- pollen capsules for vitamin c purposes and they help strengthen the immune system and mm-hmm. it's a bitter as mm-hmm. well mm-hmm. so the pine tree in itself i've eaten pine needles before mm-hmm. they're loaded with vitamin c mm-hmm. it's a healing tree 
Mm -hmm. See, and in the back of your back, you also, you know, you know, the way it's laid out, looks like a pine tree right there in the back. That's right. Your back muscles, spine. You got to look at it from the top down and it goes outward. So it's letting you know that the key to, you know, I guess rejuvenating the body system and resetting the mind or the pineal and things is that daggone tree right there, man. Yeah, and there's yeah. plenty of trees, but that one is a, one of the most important on the, on earth, the pine tree. Is there Go ahead, big bro. I'm sorry. But my bad. No, no, I'm sorry for cutting in. It's definitely a connection between the pineal gland and light and melanin in that tree. It's a connection of how that tree stays with its melanin all year round. Because it got to have, in order for it to be green all year round, it's got to keep its melanin. Well, other trees, uh, they they change in color and all that, right? But I got this. Uh, what I was going to say is I got this, uh, the benefits for colonial silver. I got it right here. It says, okay. It, 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 um, they are also used for this is it is used for improving blood sugar levels and diabetes, treating arthritis symptoms, reducing blood clots, uh, re reversing early cataracts, turning <laughs> gray hair dark again, flushing poison heavy poisonous heavy metals out of the body, improving general well well being and reducing aches and pains. Yeah. Now that, that right there is colloidal silver. Mm -hmm. Now here's another one I want to give to him. Can you please look up Sangre de Grotto? Okay. Sangre de Grotto. Yeah, I think I know what you're talking about. I got some of that. Dragon's too, blood. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, I got that. I got that up in there. Remember, I, we talked about that. Yeah, I'm going to talk up. about another tree. Oh, let's and pull it's it up. sap. Let's pull it up. I got you right here, brother. Right here. All right. Go ahead. That's this right here is Dragon's blood. That right, here. That right there, that tree. That mm -hmm. grows in South America, mm -hmm. right? That tree has the sap that comes out of it that's red like blood. And that blood that comes out of that tree sap or that tree sap that looks like blood, it's a natural coagulant. The natives that live around this area where this tree grows, they use it to stop bleeding when somebody is cut open. It's real powerful. It's antiviral as well. So when you, um, let's put it like this. I had, uh, what was it? Like a kidney stone that I was dealing with. And this is back when I was uh, healing myself. So I had to take the vegan raw meal supplements, stop eating crap. I had to, um, you know, I didn't do too much exercising back then, but I did do that to fast, drink a lot of water. And then I took the Sangre de Grotto. When I took the Sangre de Grotto, whatever internal bleeding I had that was coming out through my urine stopped. And it also helps with ulcers. So you can look up the benefits right. for them of dragon's blood, the benefits, the health benefits of taking dragon's blood and watch what it say. Watch what it say, because this is a very potent herb that comes from a very potent tree. Remember y'all, the trees give us oxygen too. So when you're talking about vegetation and plant life, you're talking about healing on a grand scale here all over the planet. These There's different types of trees that will not fail you. I mean, if they're giving you oxygen, why would they kill you in another way? We got to go to the trees. Go ahead, big brother. I'm sorry. I'm, right. I'm no, waiting. I got you. I got you right here. It says, uh, okay, one says at the top, it says a dragon blood has, a, has been used for antiviral and wound healing effects. Tash pine as components of dragon blood, as a component of dragon blood, has been documented to have anti-inflammatory and wound healing actions. Right? And then it goes into say, uh, the dragon blood and is pro-anti uh, candida. I think that's what it says. Components also have been shown to have antiviral activities. It says right here, the red, the uh, blood red sap of dragon blood has been used for folk medicine and fractions of wounds, inflammation, uh, ga uh, gasp intestines, gastrointestinal disorders, blood calculation dysfunctions, and cancers. 
Uh, yeah. Okay. That's so that's, that's you know, just to let people know, there's things out here that you can take that attack multiple things all by themselves. Powerhouse herbs that will help healing faster depending on what the condition is. Now, how I addressed my condition was I would drop three drops of the dragon's blood and some distilled water and drink it. Okay. And I did that twice a day. Okay. When I got up and before I went to bed, and I'm telling you, in three to four days, it was gone. <laughs> it's fire, man. And I ain't had to worry about it no more, man. I can only talk about what I experienced to let you know for a fact that it deals that this will help you. Dragon's blood will help if your child is cut open and you can't, you know, you're worried about it getting an infection. Dragon's blood, when you put dragon's blood in it, it will disinfect it and coagulate the blood to stop it from bleeding and then it will form a scab bubble. This stuff is magnificent. When you talk about magic, somebody that learned about this that was a shaman in the Amazon back in the days could have made hundreds of thousands of gold coins and back then <laughs> selling this. They got it on Amazon up. for $12. I mean, what they got and, on Amazon, what is on Amazon for 12 Yeah, you get a... And don't do like I did and accidentally buy the cologne. Yeah, don't blood. buy the cologne, buddy. Buy the actual um herb or actual uh, uh elixir, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They got a big old uh yeah. You so I see it on Amazon. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get I'm gonna check that out right there. Oh yeah, they even got the rock the uh the the uh, actual sap where you can actually break it down and make probably a tea out of it or something right here. That's Straight right. Powder. Oh yeah. So that's all right, right, that's a good one. That's a good one. Hey, another one that you brought up. A high power herb that you said you was using as a blood cleanser because we're talking about the blood cleansing, cleansing the blood. I, I said, hey, we might on the next one, we're gonna cut, uh, we'll go to the two hour mark, we'll cut and we'll talk about going more in on the blood. But I want a hey, the burdock root, man. You was talking about the burdock, one yeah, of the high power yeah. herbs that's accessible for us, yeah. Bur burdock yeah, yeah. root is um you know any plant man you might as well say is antiviral most of them are the ones that deal with healing they're dealing with inf infections and um i think burdock root is also used to help with bones same way with sea moss sea moss dealing with a a, a plant-based calcium and um plant-based iodine that's sea moss but with the burdock root, it helps with, you know, purifying the blood and strengthening the bones. And uh, I think the, nair and the nails and the hair as mm -hmm. well. Mm -hmm. Just like the um, horsetail plant and, mm -hmm. uh, and alfalfa. But burdock should be growing. If you live uh, Midwest, you probably got burdock growing in your backyard. Yep. Yep. And it's a, it's a root that grows at least around, I think, anywhere from five to eight feet. No. I say up to five feet in the ground. Mm -hmm. It's the dandelion root that grows all the way up to 11 feet in the earth. Mm -hmm. That's why dandelion is so powerful because of mm -hmm. the nutrients it soaks up, you see, from inside the, the mineral rich clay down in the plant, in the planet. So dandelion is uh, something that should be a regular practice to keep people's liver detoxified and clean. Mm -hmm. But that right there, um, they used to use, like say for instance, if um, in, in slavery times or back then at that time during unfair employment is what I call it. <laughs> it's unfair <laughs> employment. <laughs> no, employment unfair right now, but you know, it is what it is, you know. <clears throat> the slaves or the people that worked and lived on the plantations, they, if they had a broken bone, a child broke his bone or a woman or man, they would put a splint on it to straighten it, tie it tight, but they would pack the wound and or not pack the, the bone in between the bones. <laughs> of course mm -hmm. not. It would be the opening of the uh, uh, skin and mm -hmm. they would pack it with burdock root leaves. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And uh, of course, after they pulverized it down with the liquid and stuff and start packing it in the wound, but this would help regenerate the bone rapidly. And another, I think another name for it is bone knit, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. like knitting, knitting the bone back together. 
So it's a powerful herb, man. A very powerful herb. Anything of the earth is powerful. Trust me. Dandelion, uh, and, co- and you can connect, actually mix both of these together and make a high power blood uh, cleanser. Like you say, mm-hmm. like you're saying, like, uh, and cayenne pepper is a delivery system like Ella Jamil put up on his own. And, uh, right. Can I say one more thing real quick? Wait, 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 wait. Um, getting, okay, learning how to make things into powder form mm-hmm. is a major key to herbs. So if you get, and I'm talking about, it's a lot of herbs y'all take, or it's, it's really just the stalk of the plant. Not the leaves. The leaves have benefits. The stalk of the plant has benefits. The, you know, branches and stuff. That's what I mean by stalk and stem. The, the, it, it has benefits. You got to learn how to cut those down if you're cutting down or cutting into the bush. Of course, if you're very spiritual uh, with your approach, you probably should ask the plant for permission first uh, before you go in cutting on it. And then you cut it. You do your research on what the bark and stuff could do. It has to dry out. Once it dries out completely, you put it in a blender, turn it into power. I mean, I'm sorry, powder. <laughs> power is for sure, right? The potential. You turn it into a powder, and then you learn to get the capsules, the vegan capsules from the store that you get your herbs at. You can buy your vegan capsules there probably, or you can order them online. And once you take that particular bark, that tree bark or that uh, plant branch or uh, the uh, uh, you probably burnt it and may activate a charcoal out of it. There's different types of bark to do that. You'll be able to capsulize your own herbs at the house. Mm-hmm. Okay. And they got different ways of capsulizing them fast. And you ain't got to worry about it taking you hours just because they're so small. But it's all this stuff. I'm sure a lot of people that's online right now that, that heard about the class already know about it, you know, because they, they're into herbs, mm-hmm. you know. But I always wanted to do for myself always uh there's a lady named idol idol is vital she's a mexican sister i mean mexican i mean jamaican she's a jamaican sister and um she's got dr sebi's a lot of his ingredients for some of his down of course i think some of it's a twist to her own but she knows how to heal she's another healer <clears throat> y'all can look her up and find out the actual recipes to some of Dr. Sebi's stuff that we would buy and, you know, for healing, learn how to make it at home yourself. There's a lot of other herbalists that you need to learn from about making your own herbs and capsulizing your own stuff. So you learn that you can go in your backyard, get that burdock root, uproot it, dry it out, you know, respect the process, cut it up, grind it up in the powder, capsulize it and be taking your own. Same thing with the uh, calcium. Uh, a lot of people don't know to take calcium pills, that your calcium pills are really just nothing but egg white shells. Mm-hmm. Powder. Egg white shells pulverized into a powder. So why can't you, when you crack your eggs open for your breakfast, just keep the shells. Let them dry out. <laughs> Rinse them and let them dry out. Pulverize them down to a, a dust capsulize them take one or two a day like this is you know just knowledge of this stuff will will help save a lot of people a bag of money because you can go out man and buy the herb in its raw essence or learn the land and where to find it at in your land because all you got to do now is get on google find out where these herbs grow find out where they grow go out forage some yourself and process them man process them uh, it's a sister a, a very fine beautiful sister on the internet right that y'all can go watch um uh and i ain't watched this lady's channel in years but she's real thorough at making teas and showing people how to process their their raw herbs when you buy your bags of herbs and stuff online but she drinks teas to keep her body cleansed and she takes the liquid approach that's what i would recommend Breathing in liquid. I like, you know, exercise in liquid. If you're doing liquid and you're running a, a liquid herb, liquid herbs to your body, the way Dr. Sebi did for 90 days, and you ain't drinking or eating no solids, I'm saying you ain't eating no solids. Everything you got going through is herbal. And you probably don't do a lot of exercise then, but you can meditate and sweat through meditation. 
that'll be a form of exercise in that. And then do your yoga and your stretching. And if you're on a, li- uh, uh, a diet like that, if you're on a lifestyle change like that, not a diet, but a try it. <laughs> Go ahead, try that. But processing your own herbs, I recommend that heavily, man. You know, uh, if you don't have a blender, do a tea. Do a tea. Say, hey, man, I, I can't afford the blender. Man, I seen when price one, it was $350. I can't do that. All right. Well, you want to do it anyway. You buy your bag of herbs and then you learn how to make tea bags. You get you a strainer bag, you know bull the 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 stems and the the um, pulverized leaves for a minute steep them for a little minute and then add you some honey to that then go on and drink that down because of the enzymes that be in it living enzymes that can go in and help clean out your gut there's people that take dandelion leaves uh burdock root leaves and other leaves in their backyard they call it i think poke solid poke solid They go out and they grab these leaves off the ground in their backyard. They clean them up real good. Go inside the house, you know, after they clean them up, they boil them up, season them, steam them or whatever they do to them, and then they eat them. And this keeps their gut clean. And if if they're not in the, the backyard of your ground, then you can grow them in a pot in your house by taking them and digging them up. If you don't trust the soil around your house, you can take a plant. See, a plant can regrow limbs. So if you if you take it from its root and you you say, for instance, you cut the root in half at its base or dug dug down there and grab, you can put it down in some water and then the root will start growing again. Then you plant it in some soil, get it started in your house. Now you got your burdock root growing in the house. I mean, it's just that easy. I told uh, bro, big bro about a, a, a Caucasian healer named uh, Rothkranz, Marcus Rothkranz. This dude cured himself the same way. Dr. Sebi was said to have cured himself damn near the same way, except for he had his own epiphany by watching the vegan animals eat. One day he was trying to starve himself. He was trying to kill himself. Went out to the desert to die. Gave up everything. We're talking about a film producer, a movie producer. Had money, but he was living with allergies his whole life. Sickness. Could never get through you know the allergies man allergies is kicking his butt the older he got so he just gave up he got tired of it after all, so many treatments and all these medications and everything and nothing's working he started feeling like a fool after a while so he went out to the middle of the, of the desert to die by the time he collapsed and passed out when he came to he seen a hare or a desert like rabbit you know eating uh from a bush and seeing what this this rabbit was eating and started decided to eat what the rabbit was eating and of course after he started digesting it and what it was it started running through his system and then he had you know small case of what you call the runs or diarrhea or whatever but he had to clean his system out the enzymes the living enzymes inside the 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 food will go inside clean the gut and they fight any um any type of anti-life uh parasite anything in your gut in your intestinal uh, walls and the lining in your intestinal uh, walls has to be cleaned out and flushed as well so eating these raw Mm -hmm. plants sometimes will help do this and you got to not be afraid of using the bathroom that's really one of the keys to healing man using the daggone bathroom family if you got a job where you, like I do, where you're driving and you can't afford to go while you always out here doing your job, you're going to have to make do with something, buddy. You got to make a choice. My job won't allow it. Well, then you want your job to kill you then. And you're going to allow that to happen. So in order to restore your power, you got to learn how to take action if you're going to heal yourself. You got to take action, you know. And everybody can. So, you know, I appreciate you letting me get that out, man. You can go to the yeah, uh, I got the dude. Uh, I saw that I saw the picture of that dude on the screen that you saw. Uh oh, another yeah, thing. so they know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they can know about that dude, right? Uh mm-hmm. another thing, uh 
you talked about dandelion and you talked about burdock root and you talked about but like like I wanted to stress that part on uh because that was interesting, man. You 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 got me, you hooked me on that when you said that uh the guys in jail, man, they how they ex the ex oh, how yeah, they we gotta talk about that. Yeah, how part of this exercising, man. Like, cause these guys that eat my brother and them eat fucking Roman. They he and they're not he eat Roman noodles, they eat Roman like like <laughs> They eat like canned sardines, soups. And, yeah, soups. Like what the, and they still in good shape. Working out every day. Mm -hmm. I told you, like to keep the body in electrical levels high. That's the alkalinity. Mm -hmm. That's the alkalinity. Mm -hmm. You breathing. Just like right now, if you did thirty fast, quick breaths, mm -hmm. but. You did 10 slow breaths deep first. Mm -hmm. Then you speed it up, start doing your 30 breaths. Your body temperature going to heat up. Mm -hmm. That's where the purification starts. So these brothers is working out. And remember what I was telling you about your electricity in the body. The electrical production in the body is what allows the muscle to look as toned and tighten up as it does. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it lets you know that these brothers their pH is high. Their potential hydrogen is high. Their uh, alkalinity levels is high because they're getting plenty of workout exercising in. They get they Every run day. in too. Mm -hmm. They run, I mean, two, three times a day. They ain't got mm -hmm. enough time to do it. Mm -hmm. Those that want to live. Mm -hmm. The ones that get in there and just be doing drugs and get high and stuff, man, they die so quick. Mm -hmm. But the dudes that, that work out and they stay on a strict regimen, especially mm -hmm. a lot of our Muslim brothers, Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? They mm -hmm. stick together in there. They work out together. They pray together. Yep. They do everything together. Mm -hmm. So when you got a foundation like that, where you on a strict regimen, either one workout a day or two workouts a day, depending on the season for you, mm -hmm. you ain't got nothing but time to read books and work out yep. and eat right. Be your character. So they're being preserved. Mm -hmm. You know, they're being preserved. And keep in mind, the government always uh, is studying a super soldier serum. <laughs> they buying sir, and hey, they buying. Uh, my brother said they buying sperm from the for five dollars a shot in uh, jail. And uh huh. They, and they testing the brothers, and then they say, "Oh yeah, we this brother is a buck. We got we got to get this, we got to get this on file." So they told. Uh, he said they paid thirty. He said it's, it's backwards, man. He said they paid thirty four cents a day on a job where you work fucking to nine hours a day. And then you come back and they say, hey, well, you can do this comm shop, $5, you know, uh, you know we don't want to get too exclusive. You can do yeah. that for $5 and, and you can make more money. Yeah, it's your DNA. It's your DNA, it's the genes. Remember what I was saying a long time ago about certain species on this planet need mm -hmm. to go to the original or the progenitor species in order to sustain themselves until they figure out how to do it without us. Mm -hmm. That's what, you know, they've been doing that. They've been doing that. I mean, what else would you, I mean, it's the same, it's no different than what we did in ancient times when we used the venom of the snake to counteract scorpion venom or something, or, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. vice versa. Mm -hmm. So we had to kill something, study something, go into something, or, you know, and get it out of it and then find out the benefits for us. Mm -hmm. Now, what they, they're known for is the corpse medicine. They still do that type of medicine. I don't know why people would think anything changed about that. They would still use cadavers, dead bodies, dead corpses to study. Mm -hmm. In the same way you can chemically process a metal to make it edible, uh, bark, a leaf, fruit, a root, anything, dirt, you can chemically process anything, see, especially for consumption. That's why they're telling you now that, man, they, they, they got us eating plastic fries at McDonald's, uh, the hamburgers, all this stuff. They start, you know, just to be funny, you know, but this is what people saying they're doing because they found out how remarkable of an instrument the human body really is and what it can process and digest. As a chemical chemist, the body is a chemist within itself. The body. It's breaking everything down chemically without you even really being aware of it. 
And all we got to do is drink our water, get our exercise to help speed up that chemical exchange, that process. We speed it up, then we don't do too much coughing. We don't do too much worrying about what's going on. And then you're going to want to stay away from people that do too much of that because they ain't listening. <laughs> they hard-headed. So, you know, I hope... Uh, what's your you workout? Know, like, like me, I notice, uh, like, okay, like when I slack out my workout, my uh, my wind and everything is low. But, like, I notice uh, when I get up in the morning, like, uh, and when I look, keep, stay, keep my weight, maintain my weight, because people's asking how do they maintain their weight. And I'm going to get your perspective on it. But that's just how I was doing it. What I do is I start my metabolism up in the morning, and then I start it before I go to sleep by just right doing something for 30 minutes, like a workout. I might put the gloves on. I got, like, this uh, – I wish I could show you all this. I got the, my boxing equipment, right? So I got this uh, – I got the speed bag all it right? So I worked the speed bag for 35 minutes, just, just you no know, stepping around it. That's awesome. And then I run in place and do the uh, burpees, right? You know what they do in prison? Mm-hmm. Yeah, the burpees, is, uh, the running in place going down, you do like 85 of them a day. That's where it's at right there now. Yeah, that's where it's at, for real. My, that's, that's where it's at. That's what's getting, me, getting my muscle back that my wife said I was too, getting too bony. Uh, she like mm-hmm. me, like she like me, like fifty six. Uh, yeah. <laughs> being like fifty, being like fifty. Man. With some meat on your bone. Yeah, yeah. She got you too thin. Your legs too skinny. Then she wants me to work on my legs because, like, my legs. So now I'm doing like uh, I don't want to do I don't do squats. What I do is I just do uh, jump, jump up and down like jumping jacks and the burpees. The burpees help get your whole body. It don't just work on your, uh, you know, what I'm saying your upper body. It work on your legs and everything. You know what I'm saying? And what's this sister yeah. doing right here in the picture? How she's jumping up the uh stairs or whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but what's your regimen? Um, I know you box, you you work out, you do all that. So you run a lot. Uh, what's your regimen on starting your boosting your immune system and keeping the weight down and, and keeping the, the body toxins going out the body? I know you just said something about it, but yeah, well, I um recently gained a lot. A weight, I'm, a lot of weight for me is like an additional 15 pounds or whatever. Mm-hmm. So I started today at my regimen. So it's, it's funny you ask me that. <laughs> and and um, what I'll do is, you know, boxers, we got uh, slick ways to lose the weight, especially the water weight in the body. I don't have much of uh, um, it's too cold right now where I live at to be outside running and stuff. You know, yeah, right. I, I'm, a, I'm a runner. I like to, I like to jog and run for long periods of time, get the heart rate up, start sweating, you know, and then I'll do burpees or jumping jacks, but I make sure I do a full body workout. As well. I don't like to do too much weight lifting nowadays because i'm older and I, my joint my joints and stuff you want to be carefully a joint so i always at this point excuse this noise i'll fast intermittent I get up in the day i won't eat i'll drink some water first like a 16 ounce bottle of water drink some water take a capsule of sea moss you know get myself cleaned up or whatnot and then get ready for my day i don't start working out until later on like around noon now if i eat something it'd be something soft like apple sauce yeah. or peanut butter yeah. i'll eat something like that because i know it ain't gonna take a long time to go through my system when i do that it helps speed up my metabolism with the soft foods soft like baby foods you know babies have fast metabolisms they poop Every hour and a half, or every hour forty five minutes, every two hours. With a smoothie, uh, you come out of that same. Yeah. Okay. All right. Go ahead. It's like baby food. So I'll I'll either have that, or I'll have a, a smoothie of my uh, vegan meal replacement, raw meal, uh, vegan shake, and I'll drink like sixteen ounces of that, and I won't get hungry till later on in the evening. Off of that, it gives me enough nutrients. That I'm not craving nothing. But today I did what 35, 40 burpees. I just wanted to get started. 
I didn't do nothing else. I just did that. And trust me when I tell you, that was hard enough because I had done nothing. In 90 days, I ain't done nothing. Maybe even 100, maybe longer than 90 days. It might have been four months straight. So I'm getting back into it right now. Yeah, me too. And discipline is going to be the main key. Because without discipline, it, it defeats the purpose to even start working out. You got to have discipline in order to live long. That's the key. Discipline in order to heal yourself. That's the key. Yeah. Following yeah. instructions is it takes discipline to do that. Yeah. So I told myself, start out light, gradually work yourself into it. When I was younger, I was extreme. And first day today, I would have did 100 burpees. I would have done 100 squats alone, 100 push-ups, 100 crunches. And then I would have did the jump rope for at least nine minutes. Yeah. And I would have been sweating profusely. <laughs> and get in, that's where it's at, sweating. That pumped up. Your blood would have yeah. been pumping. You would have been pumped up. And bro. I don't stop sweating for at least two hours after I'm done. So it takes a long time to, for me to, to kind of cool myself down, which means I'm turning fat back into calories. And then by not eating, my body is now eating the calories and pulling on that energy reserve. So I can lose weight very fast with intermittent fasting after I work out the continuous sweat uh, no immediate eating but some water I have some cool cold or uh, either I not ice cold but the water be cold it won't be ice cold okay because I don't want to shock my system so I'll drink room temperature water and I'll drink it fairly fast because sometimes it just makes it settles in my stomach better when I could drink it fast and then burp <laughs> like a baby you know your baby drink his milk yeah i had to drink it fast and burp get it all down and then i'll go ahead and clean myself up and right when i get out the shower and stuff bro i still sometimes i still be freaking sweating so what i'll do is i'll cut the shower water on a cooler temperature and really almost take a cold shower then just to cool my temperature down i had to start doing that it, because if I'm getting close to going to work, bro, and I do this regimen, bro, I'll be sweating in the truck, sweating in my clothes after they got on my clean clothes and start it's sweating. Don't stop. People that sweat very easily are self-healers naturally because of that heat. Okay. People that sweat very easily don't have a problem healing. It makes it very easy for people like that to get rid of toxins. That's fact. That's fact. Hey. I ain't never really had a problem <laughs> healing, man. Go ahead. That's right. Hey, uh, to go on what you're saying <clears throat> about the healing. Uh, some people, the reason why they're sick is because they don't they always sick or have some kind of disease, is because they don't never sweat, they don't <laughs> never work out. They always never work out. They never have yeah. your metabolism cleans your body out. And sometimes mm -hmm. your metabolism will kick on naturally, uh, but when you see it, it's we call a fever. It'll kick on and start burning your fever. That's your metabolism. Mm -hmm. So your metabolism, and they try to saturate us with fat. I noticed that everything's got saturated fat. Why everything got to have saturated fat in it? <laughs> everything you got, everything you buy, saturated with fat. Mm -hmm. But uh, this one. Which say? Uh... Cut out. Hey, okay, I just what I'm gonna ask you. Damn, what's happened? Here happened. All right, so Back now. can you hear me? Okay, all right. So the people uh because one guy said he was 360 pounds. Shout out Vegan Jones, 360 pounds. He down to 210. Shout out. Shout out he down to 210. Brother. Yeah, he down to 210. And we're gonna show the brother 15 some love. Uh, although he don't do it for the money, we're dropping this cash app in the links. We also got it pending for the people that's asking about it. And uh the 15 don't yeah, have Instagram. He don't have Instagram. I do. I do. Okay, okay, all right. My, hey, my Instagram is peace, peace and love to all. Okay, all right. All one word, peace and love to all, or peace and love for all, I think it is. Okay, all right. We're going to post it. Hey, I'm going to get I'm gonna send, get you to send it to me. I'm going to post it in the uh, links after the show so I can add that to the uh, to the uh, portfolio that I'll be making. Okay. I'm friends wow. with you on Instagram. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay, all right. Damn, I didn't, I didn't even know. Okay, all right. Okay, yeah. all right. Uh, We're going to get up on that. Okay, uh... We're gonna probably do some shows on Instagram then. Okay, all right. Uh, yeah. 
what I was going to say, uh, I was going to ask you something about the uh, exercise because just yeah, take this with man, and like I say, uh, but once you know what I like uh, with me, once I start doing it and and stick with it, it's like it become fun. It become like I got to do this. This is it's like a relief. It's therapeutic, right? Man. It's therapeutic. Uh -huh. You get into a trance, uh -huh. a zone. They call it a zone. Once you get into that zone, can't nobody break your focus. And I wanted to say this though, uh, before we move on. Okay, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. The exercise it's, it's um the mind control that they have over us to make us think the things that we need to do to heal are nasty peeing pooping sweating is considered nasty to especially most of our women you see so they're like i don't want to sweat Ugh. i don't like my bo Ugh. i don't like this i don't like that Ugh. So they try to suppress all of the nature, the nature, and then end up sick. Uh -huh, uh -huh. You're not supposed to suppress that. You're supposed to be able to let that stuff out, and you, you know, you, when our sisters like to smell good and everything like that. So just make sure you exercise and do all of that smell good stuff after you took a shower, get out the shower and stuff. But don't neglect your workout. And I don't right. care how big you are. You can start with sitting down and standing up 10 times a day, every day. Yeah. And eat less. Drink more water. And you'll watch. You're going to start using the bathroom more, which is not the bad thing. Because if you think that it's bad, then you're going to kill yourself. Fact. Trust me, you're going to be backed up. Backed up wondering, going, how come I got a tumor and a cyst growing in my ovaries? Backed up. Backed up and, and covering up the odors all the time with deodorants. All call these de deodorants is going to kill you. <laughs> you got to make a natural deodorant for yourself. So sisters, I think the main thing for their health is to get into making their own products. So all the beautiful sisters that make their own products, they're securing a lot of their, whatever issues they might have had, you know, uh, cancerous issues and things like that, because they finding out products that they were using was causing allergic reactions and they were ended up with cancers and other things going on. So you got to learn how to use the natural products to save yourself too, sisters. Trust me now. Teas and stuff, herbal teas will help y'all. If y'all don't want to work out and be muscular, like some Viking woman, then <laughs> then don't. You ain't got to lift no weights. <clears throat> Although, I'm going to tell you this, sisters. <clears throat> weights will help burn fat faster than anything else for you. <clears throat> so sisters are doing squat with weights, and they, they're, losing, they're using medium weight for dumbbells and things like that. Your arms ain't going to bulk up. They're going to shrink up. OK, they're going to tone up, shrink it up. And that's how a woman's body will do when she starts lifting weights. I know some sisters going, not mine. Well, that's because some of y'all have a little bit more testosterone than the other women. So you have to do more cardio when you're like that. You can do weights and cardio. Some of us just simply have to do more than others to maintain. And we can't be jealous of the ones that don't have to do so much. Because that's not fair to be jealous of somebody that got good genes. <laughs> that's just not fair, man. Where it's a lot of us uh, give each other a hard time. You ain't got to wear it. You can eat what you want. And they'll be talking trash to you. You know, yo, lucky bastard and saying stuff like that. You're like, why I got to be a bastard? Because I can eat what I want. <laughs> like, like, bro, lucky look man. at my mother. You feel me? <laughs> look at my parents. That's the reason why. You know, look at look at the, the, the gene pool or something, you know, but don't blame me for it. Don't make it a problem to where you see me and you think it's effortless when really all I did was get my body into a mode of throwing toxins out constantly. Therefore, I have a fast sped up metabolism and I use the bathroom four to five times a day. And you'll be looking at me going, how you stay so slim? I'm like, bro, I, I use the bathroom. I ain't afraid to go take a dump. Mm -hmm. And somebody that is, they ain't going to lose a lot of weight. Yep. I don't care what you're doing. If you're not getting rid of the waste, somehow it's still in you. <laughs> 
So I really want to stress that exercise will speed up the electrical potential of the body to the point to where when you start heating up, just like when you're in a hot tub and your stomach muscles are contracting on their own or when you're laying out there on a beach on a hot summer day and your stomach muscles are contracting from the heat of the sun, purification is taking place. The stomach muscle is, is contracting, is getting ready to move the bowels. And all of that solar energy going into your gut while you're laying on your back in sun bathe, the sun is healing you rapidly. Because then you got to get up and go to the bathroom. I got to get where the bathroom at? You be running to dag on porta potty. What's going on? Yeah, heat. Heat in the belly. Cooked it. It's going to purify you. So exercises do that. Crunches do that. So when you start doing crunches, you start contracting the stomach muscles, and you start getting the intestines ready to move and pass things through that might be stuck. So if you, if you did not or do not have to go to the bathroom after you work out, you probably didn't do enough, but it's okay. You can build up to this. You don't have to start out the first dag on the week going hard in the paint just so you can poop, okay? Start getting into taking some castor oil or some form of laxative, clean your system out while you're doing this. This will it, help. Okay, thanks for letting me say all that. Bro. Okay, okay, yeah. Somebody asked in the, because we are almost down to the two hour mark, we're going to cut to the, uh, the second tape. Uh, um, somebody, before we get out of this, cut this one, we got about 20 minutes. Uh, we're going to, Hey, what we're gonna do is we're gonna say because we don't want to make them five hours long no more, uh, because people don't want to listen. We're gonna put them two hour mark, then we'll come back with another class right out in less than five minutes after we cut off on this one at nine o'clock. Uh, right. we're gonna, what we're gonna ask about uh before we get out of here is somebody was asking about bee pollen. Uh what, what's your pro, uh, perspective on that? Now I can read the benefits. Very good for uh, immunity. Go ahead. Go ahead. All right, let me read the benefits of it being. I'm gonna get the yeah, I will get your perspective. Please on, do. Okay? All right, mm -hmm. the, the bee pollen contains many vitamins, minerals, and oxidation. Makes it incredible help, healthy. Studies have linked bee pollen and its components to health benefits such as decreasing inflammation. The inflammation, that's what Dr. Sadie says, the only disease. So it's the same thing with the dragon blood and all that, decreasing inflammation, as well as improving your immunity. Now, that's, that's powerful right there. Mm-hmm. Uh, and your menstrual cycle, your menstruals, uh, it said menopause, symptoms, and wound healing. Go ahead, go ahead. Um, okay, well, think about the queen bee. Okay. The queen bee pretty much is living off of the nutrients of the hive. Mm -hmm. So there's royal jelly that she produces for the babies. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about the whole honey hive before we get to the pollen, because if you're taking something that has everything in it from the bees, you're taking all of the B vitamins you need, mostly, I'm gonna say mostly, until you look it, look it up and find out how many it's got, you, you'll know for sure. I'm not gonna uh, mislead you. Look up how many vitamins it has in it. You'll understand what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Raw honey, B, Propolis, propolis. Um, that's like the material that helps keep the honeycombs together, you know, or or, or I'm sorry, that material that's around the, the honeycombs to uh, keep them in it comes from the glue. It's like the glue, propolis. Mm -hmm. But then you get the bee pollen that would be in it, the super enriched honey, and then the royal jelly, and you got you a whole immunity concoction right there and they sell this in one product as well just to let people know you know i've taken it it's called super enriched honey super mm -hmm. enriched honey <laughs> and so bee pollen is very healthy you know this man there's so many things out here y'all to take that you don't have to know all of the things to take just the right things to take for what you're taking it for because there's so many things that you know, they address the same stuff. You can take one thing that will address the same thing that bee pollen will address. You see what I'm saying? 
So you don't have to go looking for bee pollen and everything. You just find out what bee pollen does, find out another herb that does that. And then whatever the situation may be, you might have to use the other herb because the person you're giving it to could be allergic. So it's just a few things that come into play. You don't have to just rely on the one thing. Now, if you just want to try it, then fine. You know, you can go ahead, be my guest, you try it out. Just like everything else, it's an experimentation process. Once you experiment, find out your results, you know what works. Hey, you know what? My uh, I took the bee pollen and my wife got it because it's like an aphrodisiac, she was saying. And then they said that uh, it helps you with your keep you still. You know what I'm saying? You know, we got to keep it clean, but it's like part, but uh, it's it's part like it helps your blood. It's the same, like, if, like you just said, 15, if they allergic to bees, they can use the dragon's blood because the dragon's blood has the same properties as this uh, this shit right here because that's what it we just read it, right. It said it was oxidation, all that. That's the same shit as the uh the dragon's blood, right? right. So, so you could probably substitute that if you allergic to bees. Antiviral, so the, yeah, antiviral. All the yeah. benefits of bee pollen is a fruit. And, and think about it, pine pollen too. I mentioned earlier, pine yeah. pollen. That's fire. You know, you that's can look fire. up the benefits of pine pollen for them if you want. But okay, just hold so hold they know, you know, it's pollen. Uh, pollen ain't always a bad thing. I'm sorry. Go ahead, Big Bro. My bad. No, 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 no. Go ahead. Keep on talking. I'm looking it up right now. Why are you talking? Well, I got to do something real quick. Okay, so okay. Go ahead. Go right ahead. Go right here. We're going to get a cut to a uh, commercial in a minute. Uh, it says often referred to as superfoods, nutrition powerhouse. Pine pollen is tootsies as a, I, I, I'll probably torture the hell out of that word, as a top source of min, min, many vitamins, minerals, oxidation, and amino acids. So it has a lot of min, uh, vitamins, minerals, oxidation, and amino acids. Let me say that, pine pollen. That's that little, what, that little, uh, the shit that you be seeing on the ground all the time in my neighborhood. That we had, I used to live in a neighborhood called Silver Pines. And they call it that because they had a lot of pine trees. And I used to see this all the time on the ground. Yeah. See? And it's stuff that heals you. Damn. It's under your feet. Crazy. The stuff that heals you is under your feet. We walk on it and, you know, unbeknownst to us, I don't want to say we're disrespecting it, but hey, that's what it is. Damn. You know? This shit. Just don't know no about it. Look, like I'm gonna tell you, man. It, like dandelion, I didn't even know what it was when I was a kid to go in my backyard. Elderberries, they used to tell us that was snake berries. Stay away from them. They gonna you, you poison. They poison. Now who the hell told <laughs> us that? <laughs> they poison. They po they snake berries. Uh, they used to tell us they snake berries, and if you get close to them, it might be a snake off up in there that'll bite you. Well, that's why they told you that was poison. They yeah. didn't want y'all to get bit by no snakes eating them. Because yeah. kids do get beat, get bitten by poisonous uh, things out in nature because yeah. they're curious. Yeah. So our adults, they learn to lie to us to protect us in different ways. Mm -hmm. Deception. Mm -hmm. Because a child ain't going to understand the truth yet. So, yeah. Go ahead, Bill. I'm sorry, man. No, no, no. You're you you going. You going in. You're going in. Says the honey ain't no joke. Uh, the honey ain't no joke, man, because you uh raw honey make your uh itchy throat, raw honey. I'm telling you, like you make you some raw raw honey, you can put it on a cut open wounds and uh seal wounds with honey. Yeah. I saw mm -hmm. Denzel. That's why I like watching them CIA movies. They teach you a lot of shit up in there. When the CIA movie got shot, he got shot. That nigga went and got some uh he, it's like he went burn, he burned it, but he put some on it, like uh, before he put closed the wound. I think it was sugar or something. He put some on his wound, then he burned it. You talking about sugar. Jason Bourne? No, uh, the one in uh, the first one, the uh, with Denzel, the uh, what's that damn movie? Equalizer, uh, no, nah, no, nah. yeah, Equalizer, yeah, that's the name of it. Okay. Part one, I watched part one and part two, but I just I watched part yeah. two, before I watched part one, but I just seen part one a couple days ago, and well, he got mm. shot, and I said, damn, that dude. He he know what to go get like on the shelf and shit to make shit. That, that's like that's like high power knowledge, man. I got a book on yeah. the CIA trick to uh, how to uh, hundred deadly ways to make different shit at the department stores and shit. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But don't forget, well, don't forget the people mm -hmm. better go get the artisan cool book. I, I got that. 
I got that you. right there is like what a CIA that you know a Navy SEAL would know everything that's in that book too. That's right, that's right. I'm studying that one. Fifteen. I'm so, glad you gave me that one. I, I, I'm studying that one. Remember, uh, what's the name? Uh, Big uh, Big Brother Terrence. I got uh-huh. that the title from him. You know. Yep. Yeah. Uh yep. he the one came up, he the one told me about that. Yeah. The intergalactic traveler's guide uh to the universe or the galaxy or whatever it is, mm-hmm. I think. But that's the thorough book. So if you write everything about the special ops stuff, would be in that book. And um it's straight to the point too. Man, it's several, yeah, it's several books. If you put those books together, man, you got a fucking crazy ass book. Like you put the you put that that that, that CIA Hunter D- the Ridley Ways book, then put the, the uh this all the Shinju, it's pretty much every fucking thing. And now it's pretty much that's the only book you really need almost. That book there. That book teach you how to do, man. You ain't gonna be, you wouldn't believe it. I'm, I'm gonna start doing classes on out of that book. That book is so <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you. I was too. That's what I uh-huh. brought it up. Go uh-huh. ahead, go ahead, though. You know, yeah. I mean, you do your yeah, that book, that, yeah. Hey, I'm telling you, 15. You put me on that book. I said, man, this book, like if you had to go out as a survival, that'll be a book that you have for one of your survival books. Right That's there. That's right. The order says who I'm telling That's you. That's right. Man. And you that know book what is, to do man. in any circumstance, damn near. My, my bad, bro. No, go no, ahead, no, bro. no, 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 I'm just saying, man, that, that, that book is that book is uh, on a whole nother level, bro. The Art of Sinzu. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's a book that'll make you a, a Jedi. <laughs> it up. It'd be, we'd be like Obi-Wan Kenobi. Hey, we might, uh, hey, we might get to that next, man. Hey, wow, they, they, they asked a lot for of... Show, government- for sure, for uh, sure. Uh, uh, they asked a lot of government questions. Uh, we might get into that next, man. We might do something on that next. Uh, All right, I'm with hey, that. You know? Hey, what, hey, we better, uh, we gonna, we gonna get a take a, take uh listen to the audience. Hey, audience, two got two hundred and some people on here now. It was more than it, but uh, we asking y'all what subject would y'all want us to talk about next, and we are gonna cut, and then we are gonna do a topic on it. So, what subject would y'all want us to talk about next? Give us some. We need a five topic. It could be anything y'all want. We're gonna need a five topic, man. Skywalker. Skywalker. Yeah, Skywalker. Yeah, Skywalker. Luke. You want to talk about Siths and Jedi's? <laughs> Y'all want to talk about the Jedi's? What he say? Let's see what he say. Uh, lupus. Lupus. Okay. Somebody said my energy is on the whole nother level. Dragon magic. Dragon magic. Oh yeah, that's a fire one right there. Hey, because you know, 15 the Razael, he the he the king of the magic shit. He, he, he the man. He can tw- he can show you how they how they running those spell guys. Can you b- post the name of those books? Oh yeah, okay. So the artists, okay, I post that for you. The uh, artist, that's a powerful ass book. I'm telling you, I got it over there. Uh, oh, plant yeah. identify. Oh, plant identifying. Yeah, so you know, I got a I got a class. I think my brother Life Wave has already got uh classes on that where you walk out into the woods and show you, but I want to yeah. do one and may I know 15 maybe could do one where he go out and show you. I got you a book on it myself. That's yeah, crazy. yeah. That's right. But uh I got a couple. I got a gardener herbal book and a um a identifier book, an eyewitness identifier book and the health benefits and also how to identify the toxin. Uh, toxic ones in the poisonous plants. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So I mean, but th- but look, you don't have to rely on my book for it. You can actually get on Google Play Store and download an app to where you can just walk out there, screenshot a plant, and it'll give you the information on it. Mm-hmm. This is That's the fire. technology technology we're living in. Let's use it. That's fire. Damn, I ain't thinking about that. Fifteen. That's fire. Somebody said they want us to talk about male health. Uh, that's a good one. Uh, plant identity. I mean, you know, all we gotta think about this. Oh yeah, we've that's been a good talking one. about it. We've been talking about male health the whole time. We talk yeah, about right? general health. It's hey, included, you know, you know. Um, go ahead, girl. I'm sorry. No, bro. no, my bad. I said this right. This one right here. I think uh, purple pill, purple or pillar got the best mm-hmm. one. What to expect in 2023? Now that's a follow right there. I might we had to do that one. Based on your calculations of what you see in the world and there, oh yeah, we might have to cut. Hey, we about to get ready to cut fifteen and come back for that one. That's a follow. Okay. 
what to expect in 2023, but with, with the sun heating up, everything we got. Okay, all right. We'll be hey, we're gonna cut to a small break, about a five or ten minute break. And we're gonna yeah, be we'll be right back and, right after these messages. Yeah, right <laughs> after these messages at nine o'clock. I'm gonna uh I'm gonna create the uh tape right now and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna create the uh link that I'm gonna send it to 15 and we back on in about seven to eight minutes. So okay. uh Robot, I mean peace of the Wadu. We are to build it. Hey, 15, I'm gonna send you a link to the new one uh real quick.